Hey y'all, welcome to Art with McKenzie. Today we'll be painting Maria Hill for my MCU Serial Portrait series. Here's my reference photo for my portrait. You'll see I'll be adding more details to really convey just how awesome her character is. I start by printing off my reference photo and start taking measurements to translate onto my 24 by 48 inch canvas. I choose obvious points along the edge to begin, and then I choose points within the photo to make sure I'm accurately portraying the actress, Kobe Smulders. The great thing about this is, it's like drawing in a coloring book, and anyone can do it. You could do this painting right now. All you have to do is sketch it out and fill in the blanks. Anyone can do this. I know I said don't ever draw a perfect circle for an eye, but she's looking straight onto the camera, so this time it's okay. This picture has a really bright light source and has very little skin detail and contrast. And as I always say, the two things you need for your art to portray realism is contrast and details. So instead of going photo accurate, I adjust her pigment to something a little darker. Her earpiece was exciting for me. I always love seeing translucent objects in other people's art because it has to look translucent when clearly it's not. It's all paint, so it has to have the appearance of clarity, and I must say, I think I nailed it. What made it so easy was my reference photo. The other thing I always say is if you've been watching my videos is that to get this effect, just paint what you see. So I simply saw the color in her earpiece and painted what I saw, and the effect is fantastic. You'll see sharper lines on the microphone. The sharper your shadow and highlight lines are, the smoother the object appears to be. This works for everything from plastics to skin to hair. The closer your blend lines are, the more wet or smooth they appear to be. Take a gander at my blending here on Maria and then compare with my Hulk portrait. Hulk is a sweaty beast, so there are more highly contrasted and the blending between colors is closer, giving them the appearance of being sweaty. Maria, not so much. I did mess up on her nose, but fear not if you mess up on your art. If you're painting, you can always fix your mistakes. Lips are the second most looked at feature we notice, the first being the eyes. Sure, we're all unique, but lips and eyes help us define individuals. For example, if you watch my Black Widow portrait, you'll see that Scarlett Johansson's lips are very unique and specific to her, but I can't use the same techniques to paint the details from her for Maria. spend a lot of time on that nose. I should have just taken better measurements. I think I'm getting pretty good at hair at this point. 
After Rocket, I sure did learn a lot about hair because that little rabbit is nothing but hair. Ah, that was just, that was just so much hair. But you'll see here, I changed to a paint marker for the individual strands. What makes Kobe Smulders Maria Hill is her eyes. Up to this point, I haven't been very satisfied with it, and I couldn't figure it out yet. Yet. I had the face wounds Maria Hill received from the Avengers movie when Loki attacks the helicarrier. The enemy evaded the helicarrier, and what does Maria do? She picks up her weapon and opens fire without hesitation. That's what makes her a badass, and that's why I think she's important to have in my MCU series, even though she may be a secondary character. The same goes with Phil Coulson, which I'll be painting in the future. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see his time-lapse portrait. Go on. Go on, do it. I'll wait. Just wait right here. Did you, did you do it? That's okay. Wait till the end of this video and then go ahead and subscribe. My first portrait to see if I could muster the patience of detail was Deadpool. And what I learned from him, other than I actually do harness the powers of patience, is that I can create fabric patterns. Once you start painting portraits, you'll notice fabric patterns, and the MCU characters have a ton of them. Way more than I noticed when I was just a casual observer. Another problem that I'm solving working on these larger portraits is painting things too small, like Maria's eyebrow. It was a bit thin and not quite long enough. The same goes for her eyelashes. Those lashes on the outside of her eye is about a sixteenth of an inch thick and nearly three inches long. When I corrected them, it really brought her eyes to life. Every once in a while, I get a visitor in the studio, and today, it's my son. Say hey, boy. Hey, y'all. What's up? Yeah, uh, he's just a little cutie. From here on out, I'm just adding more details until I'm happy with the outcome. Sorry about the camera work. Along with learning how to paint, I'm also learning how to make videos of me painting. So, learning curve all around. If you like watching these videos, firstly, thank you, and secondly, hit that subscribe button for me. If there's a portrait you want me to do, leave a comment in the section down below. Soon I'll be moving into a new studio and these videos, and hopefully my art, will only be getting better. Here she is, the amazing badass sidekick of Nick Fury, Maria Hill. Are you liking any of these portraits? You can visit my website at artwithmckenzie.com and purchase your own print. And if you want an original, click on the portrait you want and in the buying options, you can contact me directly. As always, I appreciate you watching my videos and I'll see y'all on the next one.